Hi bestie! Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Shayla. Today's video is going to be a little different than usual because we're going to do a little Trader Joe's vegan taste test. I don't think I've ever done one of these before, but I woke up this morning and felt inspired to just want to try some new foods. I just want to like, I don't know. I actually saw a Trader Joe's taste test on TikTok, but it was not a vegan taste test. And I was like, ooh, why don't we go to Trader Joe's and find all of their vegan things and give them a try together and decide what we like what we don't and I'll give you my honest feedback I'm known to be slightly picky about certain things which is a good thing for you because I'm gonna tell you the honest truth and if something isn't good I'm gonna tell you here is the outfit of the day I'm like kind of in what I would consider regular clothes because it's not a full-on workout outfit but it's still technically a sports bra high-waisted shorts but i mean i'm kind of in regular clothes because i have some jewelry on i got my earrings on did my hair did my makeup so i'm kind of like you know active wear chic if you will okay let's go to trader joe's <laughs> Not gonna lie, I went a little hard in Trader Joe's. I picked up all of the vegan things that I would eat. A few of these things I have tried before, but I got anyways because I needed to tell you about them because they're so good. But a lot of this stuff I haven't tried, but I'm excited, I'm hungry, and we're just gonna get right into it. I am gonna air fry the Trader Potato Tots so that I can use these to dip in some of the different dips and sauces that I got. Let me do that and then we will get into trying all of the vegan things from Trader Joe's. Yes, I'm cutting off all the tops. Please tell me I'm not the only one that literally cannot rip the tops of bags so that they're like all messed up. Like I need it cut so that it looks like clean, nice, and neat. Comment below if you're like that. And if I'm the only one, then just please excuse me, but that's, that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> Before we try the new things, I wanted to show you a few things that I've already tried before that are vegan from Trader Joe's that are amazing. I know this is like a taste test, but I just, first of all, these gluten-free tortillas with quinoa flour, amazing. I've tried a lot of alternative tortillas that are vegan and gluten-free and a lot of them fall apart, but these do not, these are so good. Cannot recommend them enough and they taste good. If you watched my vlogs, then you already know I have a serious obsession with these ginger mints from Trader Joe's. They are so good. I love to pop one after dinner. They're just delicious. We love them and they're vegan and gluten free. Also, if you watch my vlogs, you know I have a serious obsession with peanut butter pretzels. So these are not new for me, but these are vegan friendly and they are so good. Mm. And the last thing that I've tried before that I absolutely love that I just want to share with you, which I feel like has been around for a while. And I'm sure most people have heard of this before, but just in case you haven't, I thought I would share it with you. The vegan kale, cashew and basil pesto from Trader Joe's is delicious. I love to put this with their cauliflower gnocchi or some lentil pasta or dip roasted veggies in it. It's so, so, so yummy. Okay, I air fried the Trader potato tots. <laughs> and I air fried the hash brown. I have not eaten fast food in probably six years. I'm not kidding you. Like I really haven't. One of my favorite things that I used to get at McDonald's was their hash browns. I loved their hash browns and I'm sad that I can't have them anymore and I haven't had them for a while. So I'm very excited to try this. Oh my gosh. It literally tastes like a McDonald's hash brown in the best way possible. That is so good. You know what? I could see putting, I mean, I like it plain personally, but you could also put avocado on top, ketchup, hot sauce. That was really good. I'm sure the tater tots taste similar to the hash browns, but you know, why not? Yum. Mm. Delicious. Sorry if you hear loud noises, they are doing construction on my building. The next thing is, whoops, something I have tried, but I picked it up, I forgot to show you it before. It's this jalapeno sauce, it is so good. If you like spicy, I love spicy, this is delicious. And I'm gonna dip my little Trader potato tot in there. It is so yummy. 
If I make baked fries or air baked fries, I love dipping them in this jalapeno sauce or veggie burgers, or if I'm doing like a taco salad bowl, or even if I roast veggies, I love dipping it in this sauce. This sauce is delicious. It is super spicy, but it's delish. We love it. Like that is a really good combo, I'm not gonna lie. I have another thing that I have tried before, but want to share with you. These hot and sweet jalapenos are delicious. Obviously they're great on pizza, but I also love to eat them with roasted veggies or on a veggie burger or in a taco salad or in a black bean bowl or a quinoa bowl. They're just so yummy. We love them. Found this Middle Eastern chickpea salad. This sounds really good. It smells really good. And I'm going to just use the reduced guilt pita chips with sea salt, which I've also tried before, but they are vegan friendly. So that's good to know. Mmm. Highly recommend. This is really good. This is good with pita chips for like a little snack. But you could also do it in like a roasted veggie bowl with quinoa or rice or lettuce or sauteed greens. This is really yummy. You know what this would be good with, I bet? Depending on if this is good or not. Vegan tzatziki sauce. Let's try it. I feel like that chickpea salad, you could stick that in a bowl with some fresh vegetables. This tzatziki sauce, if it's good. I don't know. Let's try Oh my gosh, yum, this is really good. We're gonna try it together. <laughs> okay, these go really well together. I also got this Romesco dip, zesty Spanish inspired sauce. Should I dip like a tater tot in here or a pita chip? I don't know. Let's do a tater tot, you know, why not? Okay, tater tot wasn't the right choice because all I can taste is the tater tot, I have no idea. This is really yummy. I'm trying to think of what I would eat this with. Probably with roasted veggies, like all the things I said before. <laughs> it's pretty mild, I would say, but it's good. Vegan caramelized onion dip. Let's try this with some crisp, crunchy crisps, pea and chickpea crisps. I used to love onion dip with Lay's chips back in the day. Yes, really good. Join in for seconds. Okay, Trader Joe's. Really feeling this vegan onion dip. Wow, that's really good. And these pea and chickpea snacks are really yummy. They're very like light and fluffy. I actually might like these better than the pita chips. They're pretty good on their own too. Organic watermelon jerky. It's literally just watermelon. It looks really pretty. Okay. Yum. Crispy, crunchy mushrooms. These are basically dried mushrooms. I do love mushrooms. They're literally just like freeze dried mushrooms. Um, they're not bad, but they're not that great. Like I would eat them in a pinch, but I'm not really in a pinch right now. So I'm not gonna keep eating them. I don't know. Crunchy and crispy broccoli florets. Okay, I love broccoli. I see these in Trader Joe's all the time, but I've never tried. Okay. Interesting. So I'm gonna be honest, which I said I was gonna be. I really would just prefer to have steamed broccoli. Green Goddess salad dressing. I have seen this before. I've heard about it before. Mmm, yummy, that's good. A little garlicky smell. Honestly, that could be a great salad dressing, but it could also be a dip for roasted veggies or even a veggie quinoa or a veggie rice bowl would be really good with this on top or even like veggie burger bowl. This is good, I think I like this. This is yummy. I also got the vegan Caesar dressing. I used to love Caesar salad, but they put anchovies in most Caesar dressings, so I can never have it. Oh my gosh, yum! That is great. Vegan Caesar dressing is a 10 out of 10 from me. Jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. Vegan and gluten free. They don't really smell like anything, which just kind of freaks me out. Okay, I like them. Kind of have a Cheeto consistency. They have a nice kick to them and they're organic. It's a nice touch. Okay, the last thing we're gonna try are these dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. This would be great if these are good because I cannot eat a ton of peanut butter or a ton of almonds because it makes my skin break out. Sunflower seed butter is supposed to be a good alternative for people like me that are sensitive to too many nuts. Little baby butter cup. Yum. Okay, those are yummy. 10 out of 10. Out of the 21 items that I shared today, these are the 17 that I would highly recommend. They were so, so freaking good. Like, yes. The ginger mints, the quinoa flour tortillas, the hash browns, the vegan caramelized onion dip, tzatziki dip, the chickpea salad, 
vegan and kale pesto. I do think that you should try these jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. I thought they were really good. And the watermelon jerky was so good. Both salad dressings were really good. The jalapeno sauce is a must. The sweet hot jalapenos are an absolute must. Loved these sunflower seed butter cups, the peanut butter pretzels, and of course the crunchy pea and chickpea snacks. Yum. Well, that was fun. Got some yummy snacks. Now I'm eating my tater tots. I'm feeling happy. If you like this video or found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up when you do that it really supports my channel and I really appreciate the support and if you're not already I would love it if you would subscribe and be a part of my YouTube family also if there are other food taste tests or hauls or something like that that you want me to try I'm game leave me a comment below it's got to be plant-based friendly because I don't eat animal based products but anything within the vegan or plant-based realm comment below I'd love to do that and yeah I'm gonna go eat the rest of these tater tots that I made and I'll see you in my next video which is every Sunday. So I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.